ASIO drivers give you better sound quality, uh, better levels, higher levels of sound, therefore also lower noise. Very often also the sound quality may be different as well, a bit higher. And uh, in case of some devices, it might ASIO drivers might give you access to multi-channel. For example, with Zoom H5 that I have through Windows drivers, I was only able to access two channels. Uh, whereas using ASIO drivers, I was able to access four channels uh, as, as I should. So there are some advantages, but is it worth it? That's the question. Well, if what is working for you is working fine, if it's good enough, then probably not. Uh, but then again, installing ASIO drivers and checking if they work might be actually a very easy, quick thing. So it's worth actually giving it a try and it might actually be fairly straightforward. Like with my uh, Behringer UMC um, device, uh, audio interface, it was straightforward, wor worked immediately. I immediately noticed uh, better sound uh, quality and levels and never really had any problems with it, you know. Then with ASIO for all drivers, I did have some issues, but generally they helped me solve other issues. Like um, in Adobe Audition, I could uh, access all the audio devices at the same time, whereas otherwise it would not be possible with, uh, uh, with other drivers. Uh, what else? Zoom uh, drivers, they are a little bit tricky, don't always work as I explained in my other videos. So that's a bit of a pain. Then the latest ASIO for all drivers uh, 214 version didn't work for me and I was struggling and doing this and that. And then I decided to roll back to 2.13. That solved the problem. So um, is it worth it? You decide, you know, if quality is super important to you, then yes, absolutely. If extra channels are important to you, yes, you know, so I do recommend them. What about the latency? Well, do you really need to have like a super short latency then yes it is maybe worth it when when is it worth it i don't know when you do maybe live streaming in some situations uh but again it's easier to kind of synchronize the video and audio uh in your software for example in obs studio i have an option to uh, delay them uh, so let me actually show you so in obs studio i go to advanced properties and then i have this option of delaying so I can delay uh, my ASIO input or any other audio input by a number of milliseconds. So I've chosen 85 for this one and 100 for this one, uh, depending which microphone I connect. Uh, but usually it should be actually because it's the same device, I actually should use set it to uh, the same value. But anyway, uh, usually it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, if I, I always make tests to see if it works. So ASIO drivers are good for it because they give me solid uh, performance. They hardly ever change. Whereas Windows drivers on one day might give me this latency on another day, a bit different latency. But again, um, ASIO drivers are not foolproof as well. And um, decreasing latency on them often introduces glitches. For example, ASIO for all, I've noticed I uh, it was safest for me to use the 2048 um, samples uh, buffer whereas uh, with uh, ASIO UMC for Behringer only one fourth of the 512 was enough and probably I could maybe even make it like super small I don't know I haven't tested it because I don't care now recording live and listening you will not be able to take advantage of the latency so much because even the slightest latency like I don't know 20 milliseconds, 50 milliseconds still made it impossible for me to talk and listen at the same time after, you know, a few sentences or sometimes a few words, my brain would get confused and I wasn't able to speak. So it's up to you. Test it for yourself and see if it's worth it. I'm saying give it a try at least. If it's not worth it, you know, that's okay. At least you've gained some experience. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a lovely one. Cheers. Yeah.